The presence of this aircraft is in clear breach of the Finnish Head Convention 1948 and Cannon Airport, including the work of the Cannon Airport and the Garabi, are indirectly, if not directly, complicit in that genocide. And we would ask you to in no way facilitate US military use of Shannon Airport while it's being used to facilitate genocide. Yeah. <laughs> it is much regret that I say this, but clearly uh, the Gardaí and Shannon Airport workers, the Irish government, and indirectly all the Irish people are complicit in genocide. In the past, when the Holocaust was happening during World War II, most people in Ireland and around the world didn't know what was happening. Now we know, and now you know. And that complicity must be ended, and today is a good starting point. I just want to know, do you intend to search and investigate this military aircraft that is at the airport? You're accepting my complaint. Do, do you intend to take any action? And do you also intend to take any further action with regard to US military use of Shannon Airport while this genocide is happening? Thank you very much so far. Just while we are here, I mentioned earlier on that tens of thousands of people have been killed in Gaza, but in particular children, and the number of children killed is probably somewhere in the region of 15,000, maybe many more, because the people of Gaza are no longer even in a position to do the counting because of the bombardment that is going on. I will ask some, some of you to come forward and read some of the names of the people who have been killed in Gaza. Abdel Rahman uh, Ahmed Al Astal, age 17. Mohammed Abdul Karim Al Astal, age 17. Sarah Suleim Al Astal, age 17. Dania Karim Al Astal, age 17. Ahmed Al Astal, age 17. Ahmed Wael Al Astal, age 16. Abir Mahmoud Al Astal, yeah, age 16. Ed Mohammed Alastal, age 15. Fatima Nasser Alastal, age 15. Jenna Zakaria Alastal, age 14. There are over 5,000 names of Palestinian children on this list. Clearly, we won't get to read them all today. Fadwa Hussein Ahmed Alastal, age 13. Female. Ahmed Ahmed Alastal, age 12. Mohammed Haya Alastal, age 12. Ragged Zakaria Alastal, age 12. Ruhaf Alastal, age 11. Husuda Karim Alastal, age 11. Munir Suleiman Alastal, age 11. Mohammed Suleiman Alastal, age 11. Mohammed Thank you very much, Joy. Mohammed. I'm from Jerusalem, not from Gaza. Um, so I'm more fortunate than other Palestinians. Um, I did not lose any family members. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Um, yeah, so Muhammad Fahd Musa Najjar, Ubaida Faris Fahmi Najjar, Salma Muhammad Rasmi Najjar, Ubaida Muhammad Raja Najjar, Mu'in Salman Mu'in Najjar, Al Ayman Firas Fahmi Najjar, Fatima Muhammad. Fahmi Najjar, Tulina Muhammad, Raja Najjar, Jud Suleiman, Muayn Al Najjar, Aya Salah Al-Din Hamdan Al Najjar, Yusuf Muhammad Fahmi Al Najjar, Sara Firas Fahmi Al Najjar, Anas Muhammad Fahmi Al Najjar, Umar Ahmad Nawaf Al Najjar, Sanat Salah Al-Din Hamdan Al Najjar, Safra Suleiman, Salman Al Najjar, Juri, Ayad, Suleiman, and Najjar, Mahir, Asliman, Mu'in, and Najjar, and Aya, Ahmad, Nawaf, and Najjar. In compiling these names, uh, I came across m many cases like the Al Masri family that has just been read out, in which whole families, large families, have been totally wiped out. What I found even more upsetting was, in many cases also, 
I came across at least six cases of twins, age four, age two, age ten, who were killed in the bombing of their houses. Uh, clearly, um, a crime against humanity doesn't even begin to explain the suffering that is being caused by this genocide, which is happening at present, ongoing, but which has been happening since 1948. Have any of you gone to do anything about that military plane that's there on the tarmac yet? Not a complaint, is the request. Do you know of the involvement, of the complicity of the US military in what's going on in Gaza? Do you know we're facilitating that? I just took a look at exactly how much US support there is for what's happening in Gaza. You know, we hear about Biden stopping, you know, a shipment of weapons, which is just tokenism. The US is the biggest supplier of weapons to Israel. It accelerated deliveries to them after the start of October. It's really difficult to get a handle on exactly what is going over to Israel. Um, but we know that there have been repeated ongoing shipments. Um, an extraordinary flow of weapons over to Israel from the US, from the military that's using that airport in there. We, we see from a New York Times report a few days ago that Pentagon spokesperson confirmed recent assessments had included precision guided munitions, artillery ammunition, small diameter bombs, bunker buster rockets and what they called other categories of critical equipment. In December, 14,000 tank ammunition cartridges and equipment were sent to Israel from the US. Um, there were shells, artillery shells. Um, the White House bypassed congressional approval for sales, for that sale, for, for the other huge shipments that, that went through as well. The US State Department has authorized the transfer of F-35A fighter jets and engines over to, to Israel as well. There was one point when you look at the reports when they were shipping so much weaponry and ammunition over, they couldn't actually get enough cargo planes to get the stuff over. They couldn't get enough planes to get the supply of weapons to Israel that it's using to kill those children that people have read out the names of here already. And we have to remind the people standing behind us here that one of the US military planes is sitting out there at the airport now. That may well be a diplomatic flight. It possibly doesn't have some of those weapons on it. But those people coming through Shannon Airport are probably the ones that are negotiating the payments and the deals for those weapons. So we should not have them coming through here. Oh. here, here. here, here. has sent warships, has sent military aircraft into the eastern Mediterranean. There's an ongoing presence of troops, armed troops out there. We've also got the regular flights of troops and their weapons coming through that airport. Many of them may be ending up on those bases around close to where Israel is murdering and is killing tens of thousands of people. The US are directly complicit, directly involved in everything that's going on, in all of the brutality, all of the horrendous murder that's happening in Gaza. And we're facilitating it here. We're allowing the planes, we're allowing the troops to come through here. And that has to stop. We have to keep protesting it. We have to keep saying no. Get those planes out of that airport while you can.
the past, as we are Irish civilians, we should put in the effort for the Palestinians too. Additionally, boycotting will help the community. Please try your best to ch choose items from locally owned brands instead of popular br brands that support the genocide. Thank you. And now we'll just finish up with an appropriate poem. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> then, yeah, thanks. Okay, so this poem was written uh, by one of the Mothers Against Genocide um, in Belfast. Uh, her name's Ashley Neo, and she's actually Jewish. So um, I'm going to try my best here. It's called Shout for Help. Brush your teeth, love. Clean your room. Practice your piano. Play me your tune. Brush your teeth, dear. Please eat your fruit. Just stay inside, love. Just stay put. Away from bombs and all that noise. Away from bad men whose guns aren't toys. Try and rest, love. Hum that tune. But keep your shoes on in case it's soon. You need to run now. Run, just run. It's not a game now. It's time. They've come. Leave your toothbrush. Leave all the food. Leave your books and your teddy bears too. You need to run now, run, just run. It's not a game now, it's time, they've come. Don't look back, don't look for my face, you won't find me. I couldn't escape. Use your feet, dear, use your lungs. Shout for help now until someone comes. Shout for help so the world can hear, so history keeps your voice in its ear. Shout for help, shout for peace, shout for justice for all our grief. Shout until you pierce the souls of all the ones who sit at home and turn in horror from their phone. Shout so you are not alone. Shake them from their quiet sighs. Make them see this genocide. Do not let them turn away. Make them shout for you one day. Shout for food. Shout for water. Shout through the pain of all the hunger. Shout it's famine. Shout it's murder. Shout it's starvation. Shout it louder. Shake them from their quiet sighs. Make them see this genocide. Shout for help so the world can hear, so history keeps your voice in its ear. Shout for Ahmed. Shout for Farah. Shout for Mohammed. Shout for Sarah. Shout for Abir. Shout for Zachariah. Shout for Zadwa. Shout for Dania. A thousand shouts. Ten thousand now. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand shouts somehow. Shout my love, the time has come. Shout my love for everyone. Free Palestine. Thank you all very much. We'll be back here, unfortunately, month after month. The genocide, unfortunately, is ongoing as we speak. May God forgive those who are perpetrating this genocide and may God forbid those who are complicit in this genocide. Thank you all very much. Okay.